Taryn, do we have a little bit of the in-game interview conducted uh, by the ESPN2 broadcast crew of Carl Ravage, David Cohn, and Eduardo Perez, and Reds first baseman Joey Votto while he's playing in the field last night? Joey, how are things going? Wow. Um, first of all, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful night here in Atlanta. You know, the pregame festivities were an absolute gem. Atlanta did it right. Atlanta did it right, but we're in the middle of a 3-1 ball game right now, and, uh, you know, playing defense just by itself is hard. Uh, hitting just by itself is hard, but doing it with a microphone <laughs> in my ear uh, is foreign territory for me. So I'm excited about the new challenge. You seem to be embracing a foreign territory, the whole social media thing. And I asked you, like, is it a midlife crisis? And you, you kindly said, every day is a midlife crisis. <laughs> well, that's the hope. <laughs> that's the hope. I actually, um, I've been considering getting a uh, diamond tooth or a gold tooth, taking out one of my uh, bicuspids and replacing it. So, you know, ask the, ask the fans what they think about that. I'm thinking about having a little bling in my mouth. Um, you know, send out a poll there. Baseball has an opportunity. You can't do this on every broadcast. You probably can't do it even with every team. But there's enough players in baseball that I think would be willing to wear a mic and even be talked to during live action. And I bet some of those guys would be quite good. And who knows what would happen while they're being interviewed, while they're talking with the people in the booth. This is an opportunity that baseball should absolutely, baseball and its broadcast partners, and right now there's a thousand different national broadcast partners, should absolutely lean into. That was terrific sports television last night. That was a glimpse into a part of the game that you typically don't get that deep of a glimpse into.